welcome back to the show. We hope that you're enjoying our celebration of 100 shows. And here's to the next 100. And here now, ladies and gentlemen, to our host area, is the lady who has certainly caused some controversy on her appearances on the program. But I should mention, too, we talk about the people who are disturbed by her appearance on the show. There are many, many people who are helped by it, too. I know this from the, the mail that I receive. Here is sex therapist Bettina Arndt. Bettina, are you in the opening? Yes, yeah, I had some other things in mind and I wasn't allowed to bring them. You weren't allowed to bring them, right? Well, one day you're going to let me demonstrate, do a consumer guide to various appliances. Well, I suppose there's no reason why you shouldn't. In the, in the next hundred shows, you yes. know, which are the most noisy? Well, you have to clear everything you want to do with our producer. Oh, well, I'll, I'll have a So if, if you do it with him and he likes it, it's on the show. Uh, I had, a friend of mine was saying that he had a complaint from his little son the other day. Why does Daddy keep shaving in the middle of the night? <laughs> oh, what, what are these? Uh, well, thanks very much indeed. <laughs> oh, and, uh, but, but tonight we've... <laughs> tonight we've got a, uh, a new idea. We're <clears throat> rather than... Uh, <laughs> rather than... Uh, who am I? What am I doing here? <laughs> Rather than uh, actually ask you to ask Marcia Hines questions, we're not Marcia Hines, uh, Bettina, <laughs> Bettina Rant, we're going to ask members of our panel uh, if they have any sexual hang-ups. And I tell you what, uh, they're all friends and do they have sexual <laughs> hang-ups? No, they, they'll have a question to ask Bettina and then perhaps she might get something out of it. If, no, okay, here we go. <laughs> Who's first? Darren, have you got anything you'd like to ask uh, Bettina? Uh, I suppose being usually a bit cynical, I'm wondering if, because sex therapy is a very personal thing for people, um, what about people who go along to a sex therapist who has, seems to have no qualifications and they can be taken by it? How do, I mean, how do people judge? They, they make the big step to go to a sex therapist and they get along there and they may find the person as a, as a charlatan or as, really doesn't have, the, uh, doesn't have the, hmm. the wherewithal to tell them what they should be doing. I think it's very important that people go through an organisation such as Family Planning or Marriage Guidance and find out who, who is professionally qualified. I mean, there are people who are claiming to be sex therapists who are doing all sorts of really awful things to patients and really don't know what they're talking about. Because they do more damage and people start yeah, off, no. end up worse than they started out. And, and it's very worrying actually, I've known people who, who went along to so-called sex therapists for years and it's, it's a sort of situation where you can be very badly uh, manipulated and I think it is a major worry and therefore it's important to check out with a professional organisation that you're going to the right person. It's like anything else isn't it? Mm. I mean you've got to make sure you're going to, to an expert. Not you yet Rodney, I'm not ready for you. <laughs> I'd, I'd hate to lose this show, and I, I know you've got a dread. Just looking in your eyes, you can hardly wait to get on. <laughs> Have you, you should see the present that Bettina gave me. You've got no idea. It's, it's quite amazing down there. Uh, what about you, Alan? Would you like to ask Bettina yes, something? I just wondered, Bettina, if uh, either a, a approving reaction to what you do or disapproving is, in your opinion, based on the fact that you're a woman talking about what you do. Do you feel that there's a particular response because you're female and not, not male? I think it's much easier as a female. I mean, you, one, the one thing going for me is that I could never be a dirty old man. And it, was, and it gave me an opportunity to talk about... The... <laughs> what did you say, Rodney? <laughs> no. we'll takes takes care of Rodney's question. No, I, <laughs> 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 I mean, women always, there, for so long it had been men talking about female sexuality and I think it was rather nice for, for women to know that there was someone who may have, uh, certainly shares a lot of their problems as well. And from, it also gives me opportunity to explain to men what it's like from the female point of view, so I think I had it both ways. I guess it's a funny sight, just have a look at the whole panel there, the, the long shot, and serves you right, Pete, next time book. <laughs> oh, Pete's sitting up there. Okay, Rodney, we're, oh no, Molly, Molly. Um, well, I have, uh, I have one question for Darren. Darren, have you gone to see the Prince movie? You look as if you've turned with that shirt on. <laughs> <laughs> Frank a said once, shirt. you don't turn. Yeah, you, you don't. don't turn. Yeah. Actually, no. it's, it's 52 yards of lace in this shirt. Yeah, it looks like I it. Wore, once you can imagine, I wore it to my wedding. Mm -hmm. No, it's the one I missed out on, remember? Well, that's right. Right. <laughs> What's the question? No, uh, yes, to you, Bettina. Um, because I'm, a, I'm obviously a lost soul, if you... It's a nice way of putting it, isn't it? <laughs> if 
you and I go out after lost souls around here. Lost. If you and I go out together after this show to the underground, do you reckon you'd fix my problem? <laughs> to where? Where are we? Oh, going? underground, billboard, anywhere. Uh, He's lost his gold pass. <laughs> No, I'm we, only joking. We, we, oh, it was not a joke. No. I always no. warn us, Molly, when it's a joke. <laughs> always warn. We'll take you seriously. OK, Rodney, your opportunity now. Well, I was, I'm kind of uh, really honoured to be able to meet uh, Bettina Art and Bob's your uncle. And I, <laughs> and I, that's not the question. That's not the question. What's your question, Mike? And uh, I, I was just... your question? Sure. Do, you, do women react differently to your jokes from men? Uh, yes. Yes, they do. Do you think so women have different sort of sexual humour? Mm, yes, I think so, yeah. What's the difference? So, well, you've just got to be, um, try to make sure you do some jokes that um, um, apply to both sexes. You can't just go and do, um, just go on stage and uh, just do jokes that are uh, appeal to male. Uh, people in the audience, except if you're doing a men's smoker, it'd be silly to do it the other way. <laughs> but uh, I, I find that you just have to um, spread it out a little bit and make sure that you uh, accommodate everybody. But I, but I was wondering... Uh, Bettina... If you just tuned in, Rodney Root is giving some advice to Bettina Art. <laughs> I think we'll have to leave it there because we really are over time. Uh, perhaps a little later on the show, a little later on the show, we should be off. We'll take this commercial break. We've got a nice singer to entertain us. Uh, Madame Lash is here this evening, and she'll be at centre stage to sing Take Me to Your Heart again. Back with you soon. <laughs>